Hello everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2. Yeah, that one. Uh, today's video is going to be the hunk scenario. And this is actually being recorded before the speedrun has been commentated on and uploaded. Um, because, well, I want to do this while I still can. While I still remember how to play it and not die. And uh, it's going to be uploaded afterwards just to keep a sense of continuity. So enough rambling about that. We have to take the G-Virus to Umbrella. Because we are Hunk. The only surviving merc of that team that we saw William Birkin shred. He's also the most badass, which is probably why he survived. I mean, his gas mask can even filter water. That's pretty hardcore. Yep, you're in a sewer. Alpha team here. Mission accomplished. Roger. We'll rendezvous at the meeting point. They they kind of have the same voice there. That's not really worth pointing out. What is worth pointing out is my inventory. Start with the VP70, shotgun, magnum, some ammos and uh, healing items, and the G-Virus, of course. And this is the only stuff we're going to get for the entire scenario, so use it well. And by that I mean do not get bitten too much, or stabbed, or, you know, however you get injured in this game. Because the equivalent of two green herbs of healing is not that much. And considering the amount and the, the danger of the enemies you encounter, really do have to worry about it. Get off! Oh no, you're terrible. Oh no, what the hell? This is a horrible start. Sometimes, the game just has it in for you. <laughs> but enough of my complaining, because uh, I'm still in fine, so we can, we can still try to continue here. But really, getting bit in the first room is very bad. And I'm a bad player. And... I gotta stop doing that, because... Because... Because getting bit is bad, don't you see? Hunk understands. He has a lot of health to compensate, but... That doesn't mean that you should not endeavor to not be hurt at all. Okay, I'm... blabbing now. Just talking randomly. Um, the trick to this scenario is really memorization. Remembering where everything is and how to deal with each specific room. Because sometimes you can do things like that. And sometimes you think you can do things. But then, after seven or so tries, you realize it's just not going to work, so you should just take the safe way. I was talking specifically about those two zombies there, which I always try to run past, but I never make it past. And actually, dogs are one of the most dangerous guys in this scenario, because... Well, they can get you really easily at the beginning, and if they do, if you get hit by one, you're likely to be hit by another, and another, and another, and that's just going to drain your health like mad, and you're probably not going to make it. So don't bother fighting them, just run. Except here, because you can't really get past them in this hallway. And they come at you in such a way that it's pretty easy to just pick them off. Yeah. And, um, I don't know. It's pretty tough, but once you know where everything is, it becomes not impossible, at least. Okay, always have your shotgun ready for this room. No matter what scenario in you're in, no matter what character you're playing, this room is always a storm.
Oh, okay, we made it past the first part. Things aren't going too badly. I took a couple nibbles, but hasn't reduced my health significantly yet. And we get a nice little respite in this room. Um, another thing about this scenario is learning the path you have to take. Which, of course, is the most long and out-of-the-way convoluted path possible, because it just wouldn't be as much of a challenge otherwise. So basically, if you're playing it the first time, and you haven't watched these videos, and I'm kind of just... What the hell am I even talking about at this point? Um, <laughs> just think of the shortest path, and then go the opposite way. And you'll probably find your path. Also, watch out for liquors. It's really worth it to kill them, at least in this room. Or avoid them if you can. We'll see, we'll see if this is possible. Uh, uh, okay. That's not too bad. I mean, I'm still in fine, right? Okay, this is where things start to get kind of ridiculous and tricky. Because we have plants to deal with. And with no suitable weapons to deal with the plants, it, they're probably one of the biggest obstacles. So the idea is, just plank them. Get out your handgun and shoot, 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 shoot. Never let go of the fire button until you have to reload. Or if you have to run. Because they do some pretty good damage. That's strange. All the other times I've played, it's taken more than a, more than a mag to kill them, but this time, not so. Okay, I'm in a bad spot here. I'm probably gonna get hit by a spit. So yeah, just take it slow. Nice and easy. Get some handgun fun. Try not to take too many risks. Whoa, Jesus. Jesus is not a giant plant. So, you may have thought in the beginning that you're given lots and lots of ammunition. But really, it's just enough to get through here with, with a little bit of extra. Okay, this is another spot where being prepared is of the utmost importance. Poison plants! not recommend wasting your time with anything but the magnum here. Just try not to use more than a mag. Magazine should be enough. Um, almost. Just don't get poisoned. Please don't get poisoned. Oh yeah. Oh no! Yeah. Sometimes the corpses will whip you. And sometimes, it's that tiny bit of damage that takes you into caution. So I've used a healing item already, that's not really a good start, but we can handle it. Past here, things get a bit easier. Uh, we encounter Mr. X in this room, but he's really not a problem. Because you can just do this. We're going to see him once more, but that's right at the end. And we're given plenty of time to deal with him. What's in this room? I forget. Oh, right. Right, right, right. This is the floor zombie room. Avoid getting nibbled. Oh, shit! How did that work? That doesn't make any sense at all. I take that as lies and propaganda, slander against my character. Considering I'm an umbrella agent, that's... I don't know how you can really slander me past that. Okay. 
So we should be able to avoid shooting that one, thankfully. But there we go. Another thing that um, you'll think to try and only realize after a couple of go-throughs that it's just not going to work. Okay. This room. If you get lucky, you can get through here without any damage, but don't bother trying to fight them. It's too much of an enclosed space to hunt liquors. Besides, if you do it right, then you won't get your head chopped off. More plants to deal with. Not a big deal in here. Unless you are silly and you try to get close to them, which I, I admittedly did the first couple of times. And uh, actually died in here. Seems kind of silly looking at it now. You also probably want to readjust your aim every now and then, like I'm doing, just to avoid wasting bullets. Wow, I'm at the point where I might actually succeed. Remember, kids, it's L1 to readjust your aim. Okay, that's both of them. Please don't whip me. Ha! Missed. Now you. You're gonna be all whipsy, aren't you? Well, oh! Oh! Couldn't touch Hunk, because he is too much of a hunk. So yeah, see, we're already kind of low on the ammos. This room is probably one of the biggest tests of your metal. Uh, be prepared for it, that's all I can say. My suggestion is to run forward immediately. There's no way you can really avoid getting bitten in here, but you can minimize the amount of bites, uh, kind of, <laughs> and just get out of here as quick as possible. Once you get past that, it's really not a problem. Just avoid taking any more damage if you can. Oh, we're coming up to the final room here. In fact, we are going in the final room as we speak. This is our last encounter with Mr. X, and it is the most important one. So this is where we get to shoot him. And I'm a total coward, so I'm not going to risk anything. Just wait. Please don't punch me, I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. I wouldn't even bother lying to him. He's just some kind of freak mutant anyway. There we go. Um, that's pretty much everything you need to do to get through the hunk scenario. It's, it's damn hard, but there are more difficult challenges in the game, let's just say. Yeah, the whole environment just kind of... It doesn't doesn't lend itself to having continuity. I guess this could be after? After all of the events? But it makes you wonder... How did they miss Hunk floating in the water, face down? I just don't get it. Agent survived and successfully obtained the G-Virus. The virus went into the hands of Umbrella. End of one nightmare, prelude to the other. No, to the another. Might have been a typo there, you never know.
Alright, that was the fourth survivor. I'm surprised I got through it on the first run, and quite happy. See you next time for more Resident Evil 2 fun, and... Oh, it's gonna be real fun next time. I promise you that.